Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly and this is Kelcav Beauty. I'm excited about the video today and it's kind of surprising because I'm not very happy. I'm not happy about the product that I'm going to be reviewing and I'm going to explain to you all why. Let's just start from the beginning. So the palette that I was trying out for you all for this video was this one right here. This is by Buxom and it is their White Russian Face and Cheek Palette. Let me show you all this palette. It looks pretty, doesn't it? Don't be deceived, okay? Let me show you again. Guys, I'm just going to say it. I'm going to say it like it is. This palette stinks. Yeah, it does. I, I can't sugarcoat it. I don't really have much good that I can say about it. It stinks. And I'm not happy about it, if you can't tell. I paid $39. $39. For me, that's a good amount of money, you all, to invest in makeup that isn't that good. Let's talk about what's wrong with it. I, I know I, I've made a, a large claim there that it stinks, but let's talk about exactly why. The only thing I can say good about this palette, let me show you right now, this blush right here is the only thing decent about this. Well, you all, I'm not going to pay $39 for a decent blush in a palette. Um, that one is called, by the way, New York. Let me show you this color. There it is right there. Now, I'll go ahead and tell you, even that blush, let me show you on my hand there. I don't even know if you're able to see that. This palette is hardly pigmented at all. You have to really work and work and work to get any kind of color payoff out of this palette, including the blushes. That was the only color, that blush, that even came out halfway decent when I did try this palette. By the way, you all, I'll go ahead and tell you, I'm not wearing this today. If, if you all are thinking, well, Kelly, your makeup looks okay, well, that's because I'm not wearing this. I'm actually, well, I'm not going to give away too much yet. I'll, I'll tell you all what I'm wearing in just a moment. Hang on if you're curious. But let me show you these eyeshadows and, and why they're so horrible. Let's, let's do this lightest color. Now, that's not too bad for a highlight. But let me show you, when I swatch that on my hand, look it, that hardly shows up at all. I had to really apply and apply to get that to work. And the colors are very chalky. Let me show you a couple of the shimmers on there. Here's a couple of the shimmers. Let me swatch those. Again, I don't know why I'm bothering because you can't hardly see them. Maybe this one just a little bit more, but even that one didn't show up that well. And then the darkest color in the palette, this one right here, oh, you all, it is the worst formula. I, I, you all know that a lot of times in palettes like this, I like to try to use that dark color as a liner. Well, I tried that and you all, it was down my lower lid within an hour. It looked awful and I went to work that way. It was very embarrassing. And then I did try it one other time. I used it as a corner color to kind of block in. It just doesn't blend well. To get it to show up, you've got to apply a little bit more. And then it just gets all muddy and cakey. It's not good on textured eyelids. So especially for us mature ladies that have a little more texture to our eyelids, don't. I, I can't stress enough. Don't fall victim to what I did and get this palette. Yes, I'm a little bit upset about it, and here's why. You all, this is a high brand product. We need to demand better than this. If we are gonna be investing this kind of money into high-end products, we should expect a good product. I don't know what they thought when they released this, and I'm not the only YouTuber out there that has this opinion of this palette. I thought, Kelly, maybe you just got a bad palette. Maybe it's just you. No, I have watched several other YouTubers uh, recommend or, or not recommend this palette. They reviewed it and had nothing but bad things to say about it. So it, it's not just me. And you all, I'm finding this more and more lately with some of these high-end products. Maybe not necessarily ones that I have purchased, but I've heard a lot of negative comments on some of the new palette releases from Too Faced, some of those mini palettes. Nobody has anything good to say about them and those retail for $29. It's just, it's been an eye-opener to me. So here's the other thing I'm realizing here lately with the makeup that I've been trying 
and I've commented on this lately, drugstore brands have been knocking it out of the park. Anything I've tried just about from drugstore has been good. And a lot of things that I own that are drugstore or, or affordable makeup is better than the high-end counterparts that I'm trying. So I've learned a very valuable lesson. Also, there are plenty of affordable brands out there. Just in the list that I started yesterday, when I first discovered how, well, let's just say how crappy this palette is, sorry, but I started a list of all the affordable brands. You all, I have a list of at least 30 brands, and I know I'm not getting all of them. Those are just some of the obvious ones when I was looking over Ulta and online. 30 affordable, what we would consider drugstore options. So we don't have to put up with paying higher prices from high brands that aren't putting out very good products. Now, I, I apologize. I know I'm being a little bit negative in this video, but I'm gonna turn it around now because I have made a big decision. And it's gonna affect the future of this channel, the future of Kelcav Beauty. Again, Drugstore has been knocking it out of the park, and I've really been convicted. Why am I spending good money on high-end products that I'm disappointed with? When I could be spending a fraction of that money on drugstore that's just as good, a lot of times even better, to present to you all. So, with that being said, the future of Kelcav Beauty is really going to be dedicated to affordable makeup. Right now, after my experience with this and some other things, I've just decided that affordable makeup why, why would I not do that? Why would I want to show you all brands that I'm disappointed with that I've spent a lot of money on when instead I can be showing you some good affordable makeup for mature skin at an affordable price? It's a win-win for everybody. Now, don't get me wrong. You know, I'm not saying that all high-end makeup is bad. It's not. And I'm not saying that all affordable drugstore makeup is good. It's not. But why would I want to spend a lot of money to find out that a high-end product is bad? I'm going to feel a lot better if maybe I've bought something that's a little more affordable. Maybe it didn't work out, but I didn't spend that much money on it. I'm not out that much money. So again, that's where I'm going to be looking at in the future. And I know a lot of people do like high-end brands. Please don't think that I'm insulting anybody by saying this or by going this route. I know a lot of people like high-end brands. I personally liked some of the high-end makeup. But I just, again, I can't in good conscience make recommendations to you all on makeup brands that I'm spending a lot of money on and the product is not that good. I want to spend my money wisely. And I, I think a lot of us do, especially in this environment that we're in now. You know, not everybody has a lot of extra cash flow right now to be putting money into makeup. So again, another great reason why I just really want to focus more on affordable makeup recommendations for you all. Now, let me know. Maybe I'm not the only one that this has happened to you all. Let me know in the comments below. Have you had an experience like this? Have you purchased something? And you know what? It could even be, maybe it's drugstore or maybe it's high end and you've had this same experience where you've just been so disappointed with what you purchased. I'd love to start a conversation on this. So let me know in the comments down below if you've had something like this happen to you. And let's warn each other about some of these brands and some of these products like this one. Anyway, guys, again, I'm sorry if this had more of a negative tone to it. I promise. Next video, we're going to be focused again on this affordable makeup. It's going to be full steam ahead. Anyway, guys, I hope you all have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.